All right, guys, trade season is upon us, and it looks like the first trade is going to go with the Los Angeles Lakers and the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is the Hoops Nerd Show. All right, let's just get into it. The Los Angeles Lakers are sending Danny Green to the Oklahoma City Thunder, and it's looking like their number 28 pick for Dennis Schroeder. This is actually, to me, a win for both sides because you can see why they're doing it. It's really an example of what hap what makes a trade happen. It both sides have to feel like they win. For the Lakers, you are in win-now mode. After winning the title last season, you are looking to take advantage and improve your team uh, as best you can with the assets you have. So you have Danny Green, who honestly in the playoffs played like uh, the juice that's at the bottom of a trash can. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but it's it's awful and terrible. And that's really about how well Danny Green played during the playoffs. He could not hit a shot, missed big time shots uh, in the finals games throughout the playoffs. Just not good. And he just it was not an effective contract either. So if you have Danny Green making 15 mil a season next year, it's 15 million for him. And you're able to turn that into Dennis Schroeder, who was having a career year last year. He is the perfect sixth man type, can play at the end of games next to LeBron and uh, AD. It's going to be fantastic for them. He is a perfect pickup, a win now move with a guy who's ready to go. For the Thunder, this is also a win. You've got an expiring contact, contract in Danny Green. You don't care that he's on your team. It's just $15 million that's just gonna fall off after next year. And you get the number 28 pick in this draft. And now, this draft has been a little interesting. I'm actually a big fan of this draft because for teams in the 20s, this is gr a great, great draft. If you're at the top of this draft, there's a reason why everyone's trying to trade out because there's no like clear number one guy. There's no like Zion Williamson. There's no AD. There's no just home run number one overall pick. LeBron, those types. There's just not. There's some guys that are going to be really good and there's some debate on who's going to go number one, but there's no clear number one guy. But when you get into like picks 10 through 30, really all bets are off. There are all sorts of guys in this draft to to pick. And even in the second round in this draft, you hear about a lot of guys, Xavier Tillman, think, uh, Paul Reed, different guys that have that are going to be NBA players. They might even be starters or regular rotation guys. And so the Thunder get a, an expiring contract and they get something out of Dennis Schroeder. It's very clear the Thunder are in sell now mode. I mean, basically, we'll be doing a, a trade video probably tomorrow for Chris Paul. But they get a number 28 pick in a draft where the 20s are valuable. You're, you're going to get guys in that area. There are solid, solid players. And the thing that the Thunder are doing great is they are an example of a team that's just using their assets to their fullest extent. It's like the Hunters in the old, uh, olden days. They use every part of the Buffalo. <laughs> that might have been problematic. <laughs> but anyways, they they uh, they they d kill the animal and they use every bit of it for their barbecue and they eat everything. <laughs> uh, uh, but anyways, this uh, this is a trade that's going to help them out. They are going to have a solid draft and they're going to find a guy. And that's what happens with these draft picks is when you send a contract like Schroeder's you are getting everything you can. And then basically in the draft, you're just taking swings for the fences. Maybe you find a guy. For example, for the Jazz, number 27, Rudy Gobert. He, uh, you know, that's like the same type of thing. Maybe the Oklahoma City Thunder got in, get into the lace first and there's just some guy they want to take a swing at and maybe he turns into something great. That's the way you can do it with these trades. It's, 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 it's just good management. So win-win for both sides. The, thun the the Lakers get a guy that's going to contend with them and and uh, make them better. I can't, I can't get over it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. We'll see how this video does. Uh, and then for the Thunder, they get, uh, they get uh, draft assets. And they get a swing at the fence. And maybe they find a guy that becomes a starter or a rotation player. And if you do that, and you, uh, then you win. Because they're going to get even more assets. They have an insane amount of picks. And that's what they're doing right now. They're swinging for the fences every pick. And we might see the Thunder try to trade up in the draft with all these draft picks. Maybe they can, you know, pair this pick with something else and move up in the draft. Guys, that's all I got. Uh, let's see what happens next season. It's going to be fun. we got lots of trade videos going up. I will talk to you later.